Hey guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome back to the second episode of our Southeast Asia series. For this episode, we're going to show you how to spend three days in Kuala Lumpur. For the first day, we recommend jumping on the KL monorail around the city. You can purchase a commuter link card from your local station and this can be topped up throughout your stay at station machines. It's the easiest way to get around and here's a map of the different routes throughout the city. Starting off with a city day gives you the opportunity to get a feel for the city and where you're staying. The city is very modern with lots to do, whether you're looking for restaurants, activities, shopping or scenery. We recommend seeing KL Tower, Patronus Twin Towers, KLCC Park and Ten Hao Temple, all of which are just a short walk from the monorail. You can purchase tickets for the KL Tower on the day, but some of the attractions may be sold out, so try book online in advance. You can get the best view of the Petronius Twin Towers by heading into KLCC Park. It's a 25 minute walk down the road from the KL Tower. You'll get stunning views of not only the towers but also the park. After that, you can get the monorail towards Ten Hao Temple. It's easy to access this by car, however, if you want to walk, then be prepared for the steep hill up to the temple at the end. It is definitely worth the walk though, as the temple is absolutely incredible to see. For the second day, head up to the Skytropolis indoor theme park in the Genting Highlands. This theme park is home to over 20 coasters, gliders and virtual reality experiences. As it's a long way out of the city, the best way to get there is by taxi. There is also a casino, stores and restaurants along with the First World Hotel. final day, get your walking shoes on and go explore the glorious Batu Caves. This Hindu shrine is one of the most popular outside of India and is dedicated to Murugan, the Tamil god of war and victory. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes to climb to the top depending on how many times you stop to take in the view or take photos. To go into the caves you must have your knees covered, if you don't then you'll be required to purchase a garment at the bottom of the stairs to cover them.
also warned about having food around the monkeys. Luckily for us, we had no issues and they kept themselves to themselves, mixing in well with the people. That's all from us. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you very soon for the next one.